base. But you go in when the minions are, are in the line, so you can still use one of your enemy minions to jump back out with the E. You're still going to need some jungler attention, though, to make sure you've got the openings to put the pressure on the Gnar. A lot of it is with kill pressure up there. Yeah, I feel like uh, G2 could have just rounded out their draft with a solid front line, something like a Malphite that can just <laughs> just have a reliable engage, and then they're like, no, we're going to take the skill match up top. Being match up doesn't give you as much gravitas as beating a faker. Right. But for Niski to, to step up in this series and really start performing would definitely be a, a mark in the win column for him. Ooh, flash, flash goes down, though. Kazi flashes away from the hook. Hans Summer flashing forward, has that Graviton locked in, and Kazi has been left to his own devices. And Mickey and Hans Summer dive in on him. First blood, G2. Huge here for the ball. It's out of range to bring it back. Elio now looking for the dive down towards this bottom side. No cleanse, no flash on Hans Summer. The hook comes out for Mickey, but the cannon tanking the tower for now. Hans Summer and Mickey able to retreat to the safety of their turret. Yeah, already chunked out Leone here pretty heavily, so don't want to go too risky. A big missed opportunity for that. Illy, Riptide coming down. The Root's going to land with Flame Jumpers, but Hans Summer doing so much work. Mickey's already taking the Hans Summer low now, with the Root's going to come onto Kazi as Hans Summer tries to trade back. Mickey trying to escape to the safety of his jungler, but Yike flashes forward immediately past him. Mickey with the shield will survive. He tanks the cat. And now Yike and Elioya in a face off. Yike should be able to escape from this one. Elioya doesn't have the flash and has no weight to close. Down some early vision as Elioya gets behind Broken Blade. Broken Blade flashes under the tower. Elioya can knock him back. The Gnar into the wall will lock him up. But Broken Blade still pretty healthy. Half of his health remaining. The roots come out. Broken Blade dashes in once again. The wall up the last breath. But Broken Blade will fall in the 2v1. Meanwhile, on the bottom side of the map, Niski is collapsing here. Mickey tries to flash away, away from the knock. But on Summer, Red White, he's looking for the fight. But he's knocked back into the midst of three oh, members. Oh, oh, oh. Mad! He takes the one for one. Elioya can twist it in advance and escape to uh, the minion. Niski trading onto Yike though, that Karzik almost went splat. And Niski unable to put any more damage down. Yike immediately popping the ultimate there so that there was no target for Niski to lock onto. But, they, uh, they gotta get pushed off here. Caps is holding stun. Look at all the chakrams as well on Han Summer. Yike has how he'll put it down, flash. flash forward. Mickey looking for something, hit a sang, will force him, make that fucking come again, as well as Cast takes up the tower. Yike so low, Niski trying to do what he can. The tip was pulled back and in the end, Another one for one, both the supports fall. Tibbers here trying to block and, and hold their time. Nobody dies to an extra shock blast. It's going to be pretty important for them for their soften up before the objectives. Another hook from Mickey. Really? There's a Gravitum on Hans Summer. The Root's going to come out, and Mickey has every type of CC at his disposal. A slow, a stun, a Root, everything you can do, and a pullback with the airborne, the knockup, as Hans Summer kills off Hilly. Mickey has had oh, Mickey, his Mickey, number. Mickey, Mickey. What? <laughs> that was like 28 HP. Perfect. And here, trading to be Europe's last hope at MSI as Yike dashes forward. Hillisang pops the eclipse. The hook's gonna land though. And now they try and turn it back onto Yike. He is low, but Mickey flashes in front of the zap. Yike though falls first, and Kazi now starts to get excited. And the crowd does too. Kazi opens up on Mickey, and there's no escape for the Nautilus. Sent to the depths below. He uses the Titan's Wrath for a shield, but the flames will follow him down. Niski now trading onto Hans Summer, no mana really, and the Super Mega Death Rocket won't find its mark as Niski secures the shutdown. Three. Get a, a 1v1 preview. Chasey's going to get up to Mega here. I don't think G2 really want to go for the dive. Oh, but they're going to TP in. Rift out used as well. G2 have other things on their mind. The Root's going to land on the Broken Blade. Super Mega Death coming in as well. Hans Summer is here to join the party alongside Caps. And Leoya and Chasey trying to survive underneath the tower. In the end, Yike will get one. They'll get two in the dive. Perfectly executed by G2. Niski continues to push in the bot lane. He could very well secure another tower as Kazi does the same thing. The reality is that while the dive ends up working out for G2, they had to invest a lot to make it happen. They pick up two kills, they should be able to secure two towers, but Mad is going to do the exact same on the cross map. They get the tier one in bot, the tier two in bot, and the tier one in mid lane. Overall, a pretty even trade across the board. Yeah, look at that. Street behind the tankier members of his team, but there aren't that many tanky members. Akazix and Yasuo not the best front line. Dredge line going in. Mickey already low. Pops the depth charge as well. Mickey surviving and Chasey already oh. down. The dragon secured by G2. And now they really start to open up. Broken Blade dashing in. Niski able to get away for the moment, but Hans Summer untouched through the entirety of the fight. He gets the double and one for Caps on top. Hans Summer takes the triple and Mad are wiped away. Oh, G2 is going to steamroll them now. Yikes on the hunt. They're going to get in a tower at least afterwards.
G2 walk away with a massive victory. Yike, he is sniffing for more. He is trying to hunt for an extra pick, but Niski will not allow it. The Dragon going in favor of G2, and I think we didn't even get to see Broke. Oh! Combo, and they kind of annihilate that frontline difference. Hook's gonna land, and Leoya uses the ultimate to try and disengage, but perhaps, in fact, it was an engage. The TP out, counter TP used by Mad Lions. Hans Summer, Red White looking for a fight once again. He's taken down Niski already, and more are sure to follow. Mad Lions getting ripped to shreds by G2 in the topside river. And Leoya tries to get away, but Timbers, the stun, the lockup, and a twist in advance won't be enough. G2 take four for nil. Wow, an unexpected fight in the river. They weren't even fighting over an objective, but it very quickly devolved into madness as G2 found pick after pick. The Baron spawns perfectly on time, and they're looking to snowball this game out of Mad's hands. Yeah, hello Baron, goodbye Baron. Right on spawn, 20 minutes on the dot. They're gonna take it. Chasey's coming over, but the chances here. Already playing for any objective here. They need to get that push in, but with the dragon spawning very soon, I guess the fight is for vision as G2 continue pushing the bot side. Threaten this tower. Mad tried to defend. Dragon up in 30 seconds. Nature's Grass coming out as Mad Lions perhaps look for a little bit of an engage. Yike dodges away from the Zenith Blade in the Infernum Ultimate with the Moonlight Vigil into the Tibbers. It's just decimation, demolition in the bot lane here for G2. Anything that Mad try to do is answered by the unrelenting hand of G2. Woo. Five for one in the bot lane. All right, it's a massacre at this point. 22 and a half minutes, G2 on the inhibitor turrets. G2. This is what they look like domestically. In winter, when they were on form, they would decimate their European competition. And they're doing it here in this first game in this best of five. G2 show us that even though we might be outside of the European Union, Europe can still show.